I met Andy 30 years ago, we, we shared a love of skiing actually. And you know, I was a college student on break and he was looking to go skiing for the day and I said, ah, sure, I'll go. He loved getting everybody together. He loved entertaining and you know, hosting dinners and cooking. You know, he would always say, the way to everybody's heart is through their stomach. I think what made Andy so endearing was he had the ability to make everyone feel special. He had a heart of gold. Uh, I don't think I ever heard him say a negative thing about anybody. Um, his generosity uh, was unbelievable. So for me, Andy was about uh, tenacity. Um, his human spirit was just absolutely amazing and his ability to connect with people and his love of community. You know, uh, Andy had um, just an irrepressible energy, just um, enormous gratitude for every day that he had, enormous joy with life and what you couldn't help but gravitate to him. Right, you, you kind of want it to be part of his universe because he really, you could tell this guy just loves being alive. And there was some thought or some talk about wanting to do something um, as a living memorial um, to who he was and, and, and also, you know, became knowledgeable about the fact that the kind of very specialized services and family support that is needed at a very difficult time uh, in, for a family uh, when a loved one is passing, that those were pretty non-existent in the city. And uh, we ended up celebrating his life in a different way with that palliative care unit and how unique um, that we're going to be able to help those patients and families in a very, very specialized way and that's his legacy. So palliative care certainly can include people who are in hospice but it could also include anybody who has a serious illness. So if you think about improving symptoms, uh, that's palliative care, and it doesn't necessarily have to be at the end of life. It can incorporate anybody along who has serious illness. You know, I, I knew that Andy was, and as was I, eternally grateful for the care that he received here. Um, we did, you know, Dr. Glenn was wonderful, and Andy always said that, you know, that these, these people are angels, angels on earth. When Andy passed, I knew that he would want, he always talked about legacy, and he always talked about being good to people and that people will be good back to you. And I just felt it was so important um, for me to be able to give back in Andy's memory and in his name. There will be a resource-rich unit where there are people that are doing discharge planning, people that are um, spiritual counselors, people that will have time to talk about goals of therapy, to people that will have talk about what, what access, what, what, what services need to be created at home, nursing services or hospice, whatever it may be. But in addition, the unit is going to be designed to be very fam family friendly. They'll have, uh, there's going to be a, a, a family room where people, where families can congregate outside of the patient room, that's going to be a very nice space. We're also going to have space for physician family counseling. So I think it's going to provide more efficient care, more effective care, um, and, and really give families probably a lot more comfort when they are taking somebody home who's got a serious condition. I think he would be a little embarrassed about all the bravado, but deep down inside he would love it. He would faint like, uh, oh my God, I can't believe all this is being done in my name, but he would love this. You know, understanding that this care unit will give comfort to so many people, I think Andy would be very proud to have his name associated with that. You know, um, that, so that is kind of a legacy. I mean, Andy made people feel welcome. He, he made them feel comfortable. And I think that's what this unit will do for so many individuals and for so many families. I think it's a great, it's a great asset to our community. What could be more important than helping an individual that are having such a difficult time in their lives and families that are trying to take care of a loved one. It's important. It deserves our attention. It deserves our philanthropy. We need everyone's help to get this over the finish line. This will be a great part of our community. It'll help so many people, help so many families. Please contribute.